Today, I'm going to discuss how gold coin collecting can also produce a healthy profit if done correctly. Now, we used to consider gold investors and hobbyist coin collectors as two different groups of people. But we're increasingly asked by those who enjoy accumulating coins as a hobby, which ones are best to also turn a profit. So I thought I'd look at some of the best ways to combine a passion for collecting with a desire to make money. I'll run through step by step how best to collect gold coins and make money. I'll even be telling you exactly what type of coins to focus on to maximize your returns. I'm Dan Fisher, owner and founder of Physical Gold. Today, I'll cover two main areas. Firstly, which type of coins to focus on, and then how to buy and sell them for the biggest profit. Which coins are best to collect for in the first place? Choosing coins with your head rather than buying from the heart will more likely result in the most profitable choice. Too many coin collectors buy coins based on personal desire or preference, rather than buying for more logical reasons. This doesn't mean you should stick simply to mass-produced bullion coins because they're the cheapest. It's also important you achieve a balance between value and enjoying the collecting process. A great example would be the Gold Britannia coin. Now, this happens to be our best-selling investment coin for large investors as premiums are very low and the coin benefits from being capital gains tax-free, so any profits are yours to keep. But, unlike many other mass-produced coins, the design of the coin's iconic Britannia image is updated every couple of years. This makes the coin highly collectible, but without demanding the high cost associated with collectible coins. Another great example of combining investment with a collector's hobby is the Queen's Beast series of coins. Like the Britannia, these coins are produced by the Royal Mint and benefit from being tax efficient and well known. Two coins are released each year, with a total of 10 coins in all. Each coin is beautifully designed and features Queen Elizabeth on the front and one of 10 heraldic beasts on the reverse. The challenge of collecting all 10 coins and their quarter ounce and silver versions if you like is satisfying, but being part of a set means that the premium should rise quicker than on regular mass-produced coins. We've seen values of some of these coins increase by an incredible 40% in a year, even when the gold price has remained the same. Now I'm gonna reveal how best to collect and buy coins. The key here is to develop a relationship with a reputable UK gold dealer. Dealers such as Physical Gold will offer the best access and choice to collectible coins, meaning you can base choices on value and upside potential rather than simply what's available at the time. When buying limited issue coins such as the Luna series and the Queen's Beast coins, being on a top dealer's mailing list will mean you'll hear about these coins before others. Generally, collectible coins will have the lowest premium when they're first released and then they can sharply increase in cost as stocks run low and time elapses. So getting in as soon as you can when a coin is launched will lower your purchase price and increase profits. If you have a really good relationship with a dealer, they may be able to call you when opportunities on older numismatic coins arise. With large customer bases, dealers sometimes buy back collectible older coins and can offer these at a discount to those who have expressed an interest in such deals. So, how about selling? Well, if you have time, selling individual coins privately will usually yield the highest prices. Posting the coin on a platform like eBay should gauge if there are other collectors willing to pay a premium for your coin to complete a set they're already collecting. Alternatively, selling back to your gold dealer is a simple and quick path to lock in your profit, as you can quickly turn around a sale when the gold price hits a certain level. If time is on your hands, then working with a gold dealer can achieve a higher sale price if they can match you with a specific buyer. So, 
There you have it. If you like the idea of collecting beautiful gold coins as a hobby, but also want to be smart in the way you do it, then follow these basic guidelines. And remember, my number one rule to selling coins at the highest price is ensuring you select the right coins in the first place.